2008 Ulster Bank Business Achievers Awards for Munster took place in Cork City, and Ulster Bank recognised the achievements of Irish entrepreneurs from small to medium-sized enterprises in the south of Ireland. With almost 400 submissions nationwide this year, there is still great optimism in the business sector, despite the difficult economic climate. To me, um, you know, if you strip back any economy globally, you know, not just in Ireland here, you will find that the engine room of the economy is the whole SME uh, family sector. Uh, and it is a key part of our own strategy as a banking group to continue to support that sector uh, in the context of the current turbulent uh, markets. Uh, and the measure that I have set out for the people that work alongside me is, you know, what level of survivors do we bring through through the next two to three years? What level of support do we provide to them? Uh, and what help and, and, and guidance do we give them in terms of making tough decisions themselves? David, you were on the judging panel for the Ulster Bank Business Achievers Awards. There was a great strength and depth in the nominations this year. Fantastic. Because all the, all the candidates, are all, they own their own business. They're all owner managers. They know the hassle. They know the pressure. We have to ensure that we don't get depressed by what we're hearing in television and these are fantastic people. The nominations for the Best Business Startup Award were Capstone Intelligence Solutions, Exigent Network Integration Limited and Process Master Limited. Best Business Startup is, and this is the part I lo love, opening these envelopes. Exigent Network Integration Limited. I'd like to see the company getting the right sort of media coverage and being able to raise our national profile and it'll take us from being a monster type of company as probably is what we've been seeing and raise us to being a more of a na nationwide company. Nominated in the Community and Social Entrepreneurship Award category were Don't Break My Heart, Drive to Stay Alive, Fresh Start Limited and the Waterford Women's Centre. The Community and Social Entrepreneurship Award Don't break my heart, drive to stay alive. This project um, was started in a in a classroom two years ago last September or two years ago September 2007 and I suppose it was in, a, in response to the fatalities in the area particularly in young people as a result of car crashes in our locality so the project is in its third year and these young men I have with me today are the present transition years who are carrying the mantle. Shortlisted for the Environmental Sustainability Award were Dennehy and Dennehy Designs, E-Waste Experts Limited and Resource Craft Limited. And the winner of the Environmental Sustainability Award is Resource Craft Limited. Believe it or not, it's actually a perfect climate for our business because we're addressing carbon issues, we're addressing energy costs, and we're addressing business costs. Uh, so basically for a business to use our product, they're actually uh, winning on three fronts. And uh, at the moment, we're in a kind of a perfect storm relative to uh, the type of opportunities available for us in the market. The three nominees in the One to Watch Award were Flourcia Limited, Surecom NS, and Vision ID. And our winner in the One to Watch Awards Surecom NS.
What we want to be known for is to be trusted to deliver. We're a uh, services company, a manager, and we want to be trusted because our clients trust us, and if we do our job right, they'll, they're going to be successful. And I think as well in the application, it, it did focus us on what we were delivering to customers and, and clearly defining how we differentiate ourselves as well. And, and if not, nothing else, it, it gives us a very clear message, message to pass on to our customers. Nominated for the Family Run Business Award were Broadway Bagels, Full On Choranta and Hickey Fabrication Services. And the winner of this Family Run Business Awards is... Full On Choranta. great surprise to win the Family Business Award on the 25th anniversary of your company. That's right, Gurmila Mahagut son and Niramur Asulish and Nechur on the Peering Ancient to Soho. We come out to Smag, a stir dark, Kerry here, Dinish, Tigger and Gomor to so Taz and Downering, it was Tommy Gobsmacked, must my lad. The two nominees for the Ethnic Entrepreneur Award were Aisha's Spice House and Green Saffron Spices Limited. And the winner of this award Aisha Spice House. I'm still in shock. Uh, I suppose um, uh, unexpected surprises are a lot nicer than expected surprises. So um, I, I wasn't expecting it, especially with the, the, the competition I had. Uh, they were great people as well, they still are, yeah. So it was very unexpected for me. While for the Business Going International Award, the companies nominated were Health and Safety Services Training and Consultancy Limited, Tog Orthotics International Limited, and You Get It Back Limited. And the winner for this Business Going International Awards is... Tog Orthotics International Limited. It's great to have the peers and to, to be up there with the, 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 the serious peop, business people of, of each award, you know, because, you know, you, you, that's, they set the benchmark and like you try and attain that and try and break the standards, I mean, but this is fantastic, like this is our first uh, award and uh, it's great. You know. Entries this year spanned across a wide range of industries and sectors, from telecoms to medical devices, to environmental, to retail and to manufacturing. The award ceremony provided the ideal opportunity to celebrate the spirit of excellence and innovation that are the hallmark of our most successful business people.